I was scrolling through Instagram Reels and I saw a post that came up and it was one of those typical posts where you see the Bible verse and then the emotional music. And the only problem was that taking a closer look at the post, I realized that that's not what Ephesians 4.32 says because that's where the quote was taken from. And I decided to click the post. I checked Ephesians 4.32 and but it was very interesting because what the verse actually says is really good. So why carry that Bible verse and then put something else in? And going to the comments, people are just like, Amen, Amen, Amen. But that's not what the verse says. And as much as I'm worried of those who are outrightly hostile towards the things of God and faith, I am even more worried of people who are really sneaky and who want to sow seeds and plant things that are actually destructive. You may say that, okay, I'm reading too much into it, it's not so much of a big deal, but it's really concerning when you think that there are some people who just affirm stuff that they see on social media without even verifying it and they take it as facts. Those two verses are speaking about kindness, but one is putting it in the context of God and Christ, making the essence of salvation, walking in kindness and walking how God wants us to be obvious and then the other person talks about plants, speaking to plants kindly and speaking to people kindly and it has just sucked up the main point of it and I am, I don't want to say afraid but I am worried that nowadays a lot of the things that are happening are sucking up just the important part of it and leaving a dry horse that people can consume mindlessly so this is another appeal that guys read your bibles and crank your discernment meter to 100 percent because there are so many things out there that has the appearance of righteousness but they are deceptive in nature and i don't know if i'm jumping into conclusions maybe this person made a mistake but i doubt it's a mistake i doubt that there's a word like that talking about plants in the bible so i went back to the post and then I read the caption. The person wrote, Oh, this is just a simplification of the verse. And my eyebrows are shooting to my headline because really, how difficult is the verse? I don't know, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. But I'll just read both verses and then you tell me how complicated it is that it needs to be simplified. So this is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 as it is written in the Bible and it says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God has forgiven you. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ forgave you. That's pretty simple to me. Now let's see his reinterpretation because this sentence is so complicated. Like the number of words aren't so much compared to what he wrote in his post. If speaking kindly to plants can help them grow, imagine what speaking kindly to humans can do. Those are two totally different things. The only related point there is speaking kindly. But in the original chapter, it talks about how God in Christ forgave us. So it's creating a parallel. We forgive others, replicating how God forgives us. So the simplification is removing God in Christ from the sentence. I don't know, it's baffling, it's puzzling. Please tell me I am not overreacting. Lately, my alarm bells have been ringing over some things that we have been taking for granted quite honestly. And I'll say it once again. Read your Bibles and turn up your discernment meter. It's better for you to be careful and to be overreacting than for you to be careless and then take some of these things for granted. So once again, read your Bible and turn up your discernment meter to 100.